Hello dear students, primary grade 4. How are you today? Are you good? I hope so. In today's lesson, in unit 8, we are going to take phonics and spelling. Now listen and watch carefully. And the reasons why the past tense of verbs in English, with the ed ending, are pronounced in three different ways, t, d, or id. You may have noticed that in English, past tense verbs with an ed ending are pronounced in three different ways, t, d, or id. For example, if I say the past tense verb walked, as in, I walked away, away, what is the last sound that you hear in the verb? Walked. The ed verb ending sounds like a t, walked, even though it ends in the letter d. What do you hear when I say smelled, as in, it smelled bad? The ed verb ending sounds like a d, smelled. And when I say visited, as in, I visited New York City, how did I pronounce that ed ending? Visited. The ed verb ending sounds like id, visited. This lesson teaches you the three rules that explain the differences in past tense verb ed pronunciation. But don't be surprised if most Americans can't explain these rules to you. The truth is, Americans make these changes in sound without even noticing. Intro why the sound changes. Place your fingertips on the front of your neck and pronounce the following words. What do you feel on your fingers when you say the underlying sound? Vow, fake, zebra, snake. When we pronounce voiced sounds, our vocal cords vibrate when we say those sounds. V did you feel the vibration? When we pronounce voiceless sounds, our vocal cords do not vibrate. <laughs> no vibration. This vibration or lack of vibration then carries forward to the following sound in the word. Therefore, this vibration or lack of vibration explains why we pronounce the past tense of verbs in three voiced or voiceless ways. T, D, or Id. T, final sound. Verbs ending in voiceless sounds, P, K, th, th, s, sh, ch, cause the ED ending to be pronounced as the voiceless T with no vocal cord vibration. Listen and repeat. He popped a balloon. Popped. They talked a lot. Talked. She frothed a cup of milk. Frothed. I laughed at the movie. Laughed. She kissed a frog. Kissed. We brushed it off. Brushed. I reached around for it. Reached. D, final sound. Verbs ending in the voiced b, g, v, v, z, 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 j, m, n, ng, r, l, Cause the ed ending to be pronounced as a voiced d. Listen and repeat. It bobbed up and down. Bobbed. He begged her to stay. Begged. She breathed loudly. 
breathed. They loved it. Loved. We raised her expectations. Raised. They bridged the gap. Bridged. I claimed it was mine. Claimed. They banned new members. Banned. She banged into the chair. Banged. He cleared it up. Cleared. I rolled up the paper. Rolled. Ud or id, final sound. Verbs ending in the sounds t or d will cause the ed ending of a verb to be pronounced as the syllable ud or id. Listen and repeat. I visited the Empire State Building. Visited. She edited the research paper. Edited. We ended the game early. Ended. He breaded the chicken. Breaded. These ED pronunciation rules are particularly important because in English, we connect our speech when we have a word that ends in a consonant and is followed by a word, followed by a word that begins with a vowel. In this case, the way you say the verb's ED ending will be heard loudly and clearly. For example, he walked away is pronounced, he walked away. Did you hear the t in walked clearly? Okay, now let's recap what we understood from this video. Regular verbs in the past tense with ed usually changes to the to different three sounds t or d or ed so we have main three sounds t d ed verbs in the past tense ending with p k s f s Sh, ch. All these sounds are voiceless. So verbs ending with voiceless sounds with ed are pronounced into t. Voiceless sounds means no vibration no vibration in case you put your finger on your throat you will notice that there is no vibration this means it's a voiceless sound For example, talked, talked. Here, the ed change it to t sound. But in case the past tense verb ending with ed, but 
it has a voiced sound like b, j, v, v, z, j, j, m, n, n, r, r. The voiced sound in the ending ed changes to d sound. The voice sound means that there is a vibration. For example, smelled, smelled. But in case the ver verb in the past tense symbol with ed ending with t or d sound z change to ed sound so in case of the verb ending with t or d letter we have it sound for example painted painted here we find the end it painted painted طيب خلصت الكلام ده ايه الفعل في زمن الماضي البسيط عندما ينتهي بأحد الأصوات ب ك س ف س ش ش فهذا يعني أنه voiceless لا يوجد vibration وبالتالي يمكن تحويل صوت ال اي دي ل ت ساوند زي توك تصبح توكت توكت وهنا طبعا احنا بنتكلم عن زمن الماضي البسيط المعتدل وليس غير المنتظم irregular we talk about regular verbs نتكلم عن الأفعال المعتادة regular طيب in case the end of the verb has voiced sound عندنا صوت voiced يحدث vibration زي ب ج ز ج ج م ن ن ر و طيب هنا الفعل انتهي ب vibration او voiced sound فال اي دي تتنطق عندي د د زي smelled smelled blade blade طيب لو الفعل عندي انتهى بحرف T أو D احنا بنتكلم برضو على الماضي البسيط المنتظم وليس ال irregular مثال كلمة paint in the past painted painted Plain did. If you notice here, the verb in the past ended with D letter or D letter. So the sound moved to be ed. Right? So today we talk to the three different sounds T, D, ed in the past tense.
Open page 65, number one, listen, point, and repeat. Listening 64. Listen and point. ED says T. Walked. Finished. Washed. ED says Id. Waited. Painted. Tidied. ED says D. Showed. Played. Rained. Listen and repeat. ED says T. Walked. Finished. Washed. ED says id. Waited. Painted. Tidied. ED says d. Showed. Played. Rained. Okay. Now, number two, listen and read. Listening 65. Listen and read. Number one. Alice walked home from school yesterday. She got wet because it rained. When Alice finished her homework, she tidied her desk. Then she painted a picture and showed it to her mum. Number two. We waited until the evening for the football game to start. The footballers played until half past ten. Okay, read again and put three circles. First circle on ED words that say T sound. Blue that say it sound. Purple for those who say D sound. أخضر أزرق أرجواني الأخضر للت ساوند الأزرق للإد ساوند الأرجواني للد ساوند Okay you have two minutes and then we will check them together Okay, words in green, t sound, r, okay, give me one word. Yes, I can hear you. Very good, finished, finished. What else? <coughs> Okay, no more, very good. What about Ed sound? Okay, bent it, very good. Tied it.
weighted yes very good okay this is three rain so huh? yes very good showered played Okay, rain should played with the sound. What about its sound? Very good. Weighted, painted, tied it. Very good. So we have walked, finished the sound, rained, tidied, showered the sound, waited, played, painted its sound. Number four, listen to the words, write them in the correct box. is the sound okay washed washed ah, which one says the says it says the bravo washed the sound listening 66 listen to the words now listen write them in the correct box right. Painted, washed, played, showed, walked, waited, finished, tidied, rained. Okay, what about late? Late. Huh? Late. Wonderful. Yes, says the. Should. Should. Good. Says. Walked, walked, yes, is the waited, waited, very good, says it, finished, finished, yes, the first box, finished, tied it, tied it, yes, says it, rained, Rained. Bravo. Says the. Now let's focus on the most important parts of our today's lesson. Phonics and spelling. In the bus symbol, we have three main important sounds for the suffix ed. في زمن الماضي البسيط لدينا ثلاث أصوات هامة للنهاية ED. The first sound is T sound. أول صوت عندنا اللي هو T sound. It's formed by using the ending voiceless sound like in these sounds with no vibration. F, S, Ch, Sh, S. All these sounds 
reduce the sound and instead add like in finished walked washed if a and then a I will sort in a sound B يتكون عندما يكون هناك نهاية غير صوتية ولا تحتوي على vibration كهذه الحروف ت ك ف س ش ش ث فهي تظهر في نهاية الفعل في الحروف ال e d هذه الكلمات finished walked washed طيب the second sound is the sound it's formed when using the ending voice the sound like these sounds which produce vibration b g z v m n r o j These sounds produce the sound in a state of ed suffix like n played rained showed if andena il harf tani il bitnatak fil fal fil madi al basit وهو ده ساوند ينشأ هذا الفعل من الحرف الصوتي في نهاية الفعل والذي يحدث vibration كما في ب ج ز ذ م ن ر أغ ج ج فهذه الحدو هذه الأصوات تصدر the sound كما في كلمة played rained showed the third sound is a sound it's formed when using the ending sound t or d as in weighted tinted tidied احنا عندنا اخر صوت في فعل الماضي البسيط المنتظم والذي يحتوي في نهايته على اي دي هو الصوت اد ويكون في الفعل الذي يسبق فيه الاي دي حرف ت او د كما في ويتد Painted, tied, However, to differentiate between these three sounds, put your fingers on the front of your neck, and on the last sound coming from ed suffix, decide the sound according to the rule. My name is Kalamda. عشان تقدر تحدد إذا كان الحرف الأخير المنتهي voiced or voiceless صوتي أو غير صوتي معنى يحدث vibration أو لا ضع أصابعك على الحنجرة فإذا كان هناك اهتزاز فهذا يدل على أن هناك voiced sound ولكن في حالة انعدام Al vibration, for has a voiceless sound. Before we end our today's lesson, let's check our homework. Number one, read the words, circle the correct and the sound. For example, number one, waited, waited. Or add or the sound. Of course, of course, add sound. Showed, played, 
and so on. You try to do this at home. Number two, write a sentence for each word. Number one, finished. Finished. Yes, I finished my homework. I finished my school. I finished my food and so on. For example, I finished my homework early. To try to do the rest of this exercise at home. That's all for our today's lesson. See you next time.